<clears throat> All right, people. Well, here comes the co-owner of ECW. She might have gave us a shiny new ring, shiny boards around the ring, a bigger entrance way. She slapped her father's WWF logo on the entrance way, and she's trying to change this company into something it's not. Oh, please, if you were as talented as me, you'd be the ones in this ring, wouldn't you? Why don't you all sit down and keep your cheap mouth shut while the boss talks? Now, I'm sick and tired of all of this crap that's been happening here this little war between me and Paul Heyman it needs to come to an end and that is what I'm out here to offer now I'll tell you what I want at the next pay-per-view I have got a proposition for you Paul Heyman, 1%. Me and you both put up 1% of the company each. And it is as simple as this. One night. One night we have a bunch of matches... And whoever wins the most, whoever's standing with the gold, whoever's standing tall with the most victories at the end of the show, takes control of this company. So I'm trying to remember the goddamn pay per views. I'm done playing nice. I am done with this crap. At the next pay-per-view, Paul, it's me and you settling this. 1% on the line, and I'll tell you right now, Cactus Jack, he'll be doing double duty with his two championships against Taz and Rhino. And God, man, Stephanie here just throwing the gauntlet down. She wants to do some kind of tournament night and all tournament but she wants to do something she wants to have a a bunch of matches i don't know if it's whoever's holding most of the championships at the end of the night or who's winning the most matches at the end of the night but either way she wants to put one percent stake on the line that means that someone would have 51 percent control of ecw which therefore means someone will have majority control of ECW. Well, yes, people, it's been confirmed at the next pay-per-view. You might recognise this if you remember the old Revolution series. We're going to have a pay-per-view and it's going to be seven matches and whoever has the most victories at the end of the show, well, will have majority shareholding. Where the hell did that come from? As well, here comes Taz. And she just said that Taz and Rhino are getting the shots against Cactus Jack at that event. Cactus Jack would need to do double duty. And she has confirmed that Rhino will challenge Cactus Jack for the TV title and Taz will challenge for the world title. Taz who lost his FTW championship at Anarchy Rules this past Sunday night. There's Tommy Dreamer there. He was on the winning side of some tag team action with Steve Carino. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one with Taz here. Taz who is now the number one contender. Well, we think so. It depends if Paul Heyman agrees to the terms that were said there. Guys, and all look at Dreamer. 
Dreamer wasting no time. He knows if you're going to take it to... And, whoa, God, man, giving Taz a bit of his own. And Tommy Dreamer not wasting time here, man. It is the land of extreme. As Taz going low with a shot there. And Taz might be small, but God, he packs a punch and a drop kick. And a clothesline. As we said, Stephanie brought so much to this company, man. The ring mats on the outside. Steel steps. He's done up the ring, the entrance weight. God, Tommy Dreamer eating these steps there. But at the same time. God, man. She's changed so much. She's changed the attitude of so many people. Tommy Dreamer is on the receiving end of a bit of an ass whooping right now. As Dreamer though, the heart and soul. And no, oh, it looks like Tommy gonna look for some toys. As Tommy, no oh, good god, what are you doing? As in Taz ran right into that one. Able to push him off there is now Taz. Oh he sees the ladder. What's he got in mind? He comes scooping in here. As in, go, oh man, Dreamer got thrown down there. Is Taz now? Is Taz good? Taz now, that suplex, I love the back of Dreamer's head. Taz is in absolute control right now. As what's Taz doing now? It's Taz. Where's he going with him here? Taz with Dreamer and go, man! <laughs> Inverted suplex there. Let's look at Tommy trying to fight back here. Can you blame him? As, well, Taz, and God, would you look at that? As Dreamer now. And now he's got that ladder. And God, man, he's putting it to use right now. As, God. As, well, he caught him again. It's Tommy gone again, man. And Taz. All over Tommy again here. And Taz again here, putting him high up. And Taz... Oh, Taz, what's he doing with Tommy now? He's got that ladder. That ladder's still there in the ring. It's, jeez, man, both men. Good God. As now, oh, God, Taz is really putting the ladder to use. And oh my god. As now, what's he doing now? And god man, another suplex. My god man. As, oh, Dreamer. As Dreamer there. Oh, God, the back of his head that time. As. Oh, he scoops him up here. Taz, though. Taz and Dreamer, man. This ladder being put to too much use here. Is Dreamer able to move out the way there? As. 
And Taz. As, oh, try to go for a back body drop there, but Dreamer. And oh God, Dreamer again now with a ladder himself here. As look at, Taz able to take it off him there, and Taz this time puts the ladder to use. And Taz now, you never know what the hell is on. This crazy guy's mind is Taz again now. As, oh man, would you look at Dreamer's body. As, what's he doing now? And under it again here, and another big suplex. As it, it looks like Taz is hoping the job has been done here. All these suplexes, especially onto the ladder. That done it. Taz defeats Tommy Dreamer. Taz, who Stephanie has just proclaimed as the number one contender. Look at these suplexes. Dreamer brought the ladder into play. And my God, was it utilised. Especially off the ropes, man. Two huge suplexes. Another one of the capture suplexes, man. Perfectly right on the ladder. And the human suplex machine, who was on the losing end to Sabu. As, Sabu, Sabu, and wait a minute, Sabu's in the ring again, and Sabu's going after Taz. And Sabu is obviously not finished with him. It's Sabu. And oh man, Sabu is not finished. Sabu who took that Taz belt, that FTW championship from him is, and oh wait a minute, and Taz he's in a bad way, my god he's got the rope as well and Taz the camel clutch there by Sabu and Sabu man, this issue between him and Taz Sabu not letting it go easy And well, we just saw Taz. Looks like we're going to see the other man. So this man is going to challenge Cactus as well. Well, this man last night, he should, and I mean should have, he should have got the result, but he kept trying to do something crazy. He was obsessed with it. Kept trying to jump off the cage against, well, Supernova, good Nova, as I suppose he is now. Man, oh man. As here these two go now, I've got to wonder what condition Super Crazy's in. He jumped off that steel cage a couple of times, but <laughs> god damn man, Rhino, that match against Sandman. Rhino looked like he might have had it in the bag. And then four times, four DDTs on the concrete floor by Sandman to keep Rhino down. And man, Rhino does not look like he's happy here. Former heavyweight champion and TV champion. And he's been put in position by Stephanie McMahon to go after as a dog. Oh, super crazy there. 
We can tell you, man, the new double champion, Cactus Jack, will be in action tonight. He has been challenged by the right to censor leader, Stephen Richards. I don't know what the hell Stephen Richards is thinking of for that kind of a challenge. Expecting the tag team champions at Dudley Boys to be in action tonight as well. Just incredible versus Steve Carino. There's Rhino. As in, come on, man. One way to get super crazy down, I suppose. As, oh, over the back there, super crazy though. Super crazy, sliding into the ring here. I suppose a count out victory over. As, watch out. As in Rhino. And Rhino takes out the knee. As Rhino just beating super crazy right now. Rhino man, he is in control right now. Super crazy, as we said. Can't be in good condition right now. As in, God, man, as I said, does not look at the belly to belly there. As Rhino. And Rhino now got super crazy. In a bad way here. And there's the gore. And the gore connects. As Rhino hooks the leg of Super Crazy. And it's over. Super Crazy, man. He was Super Crazy this past Sunday. And Rhino is... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Cactus in the ring. And Cactus Jack. Pretend he's holding a different belt. He just laid out Rhino. Cactus Jack just laid out Rhino with a title belt. And it looks like Cactus Jack sending a message to Rhino himself. Well, a little backstage moment there. Shane Douglas not happy in the slightest that he is not getting the title shot against Cactus, Stephanie told him, you haven't been impressive enough, as, wait a minute here, wait a minute, as, and God, and go, what the hell, that was short and sweet, and Shane Douglas just laid out to Jamie, well, I didn't even get a chance to redo that, because that was a lot shorter than I planned it to be, <laughs> But Tajiri just get attacked by the back there and his leg get chopped out from under him by Shane Douglas as we're going to attempt to have the match we tried to have at Anarchy Rules. Bam Bam Bigelow versus Raven. Mike Awesome ran in and attacked Raven. And then of all people, Mikey Whipwreck came to the rescue. And well, here comes Raven. And well, Mikey is with him. We're going to try and have the match we tried to have at Anarchy Rules. Well, well, apparently we will hear from Paul Heyman tonight. Because somebody finally created one that I can use. As here we go. As Bam Bam. Bam Bam and Raven, man, they've been having issues for months and months. They have passed have crossed so many times. As in Bam Bam Bigelow. Raven here trying to take it to the big man here. As Raven now. God, man, turning Bam Bam upside down here, taking advantage we say we've got Mikey on the outside here, out watching Raven's back. Some of the alliances we've seen formed from this little war that's been happening between Paul Heyman and Stephanie McMahon. As Raven now goes for a big drop kick there, didn't connect. And bam bam. As Raven though, pushing him off.
has Raven now. Irish Whip comes back. God, Bam Bam just dropped him there. Just bounced off him. There's Bam Bam now. And he drops the head. Bam Bam in control right now. Raven though. There's Bam Bam. Irish Whip come back. Oh man, big clothesline there. As in, well, Bam Bam, you ain't reaching that far, my man. And no, he does not. I think they might have tattooed his brain when they done his dome. And Raven maybe might be able to take advantage of this now. As Raven now got by the head. A running bulldog there. He brings him back up to his feet. As Raven raking at the eyes. And Raven. Another big bulldog there. Bam Bam rolling over to the ropes. As Raven just staring at him there. As in Bam Bam though got the blow. Bam Bam now. Oh, Raven though down, pulling that arm down. Raven jumping right into the cover. Bam, bam though out of it instantly. And here's another tattoo for you. And Raven now, oh, he's just unleashing with his stomps. Ah, is Raven now. And Raven, good God, where's he going with Bam Bam? Is Raven now, Raven, and Raven, go! Oh, what a big neck breaker there! Is Mike Awesome getting Raven's attention? Is Bam Bam trying up to his feet here, Raven, and Raven, and Raven get caught off guard. As oh, he got the elbow up. As. Mike Awesome just put a chair in the ring, but look at Raven just scooped him up and go oh, the pile driver. It's Mike Awesome. He's got the referee. Raven might have had it won. Oh, Raven though, he's just stalking Bam Bam now. He's going to look for the finish with him and the DDT. As Raven into the cover. And Mike Awesome! Mike Awesome's got the referee's attention again! Raven, though, he's just going to get right back onto him. And the, re and the referee... The referee is ejecting Mike Awesome! He is telling him to get out of here! As Raven is just continuing to lay the beat down on Bam Bam! Chop to the back of the leg there. Bam Bam trying to get back into this here. That steel chair lying in the ring still was Bam Bam. Scooping him up here. And Bam Bam and go right on the chair. TCW man, it's all legal here. What is he trying to do right now? He's going to bring Raven back in the ring. And Raven suplexed. Ah, it's Bam Bam. And don't just drop his weight on him. Bam Bam now into another cover here. Mike Awesome has been ejected from ringside. Bam Bam. Rubbing his face again, dropping another elbow on him. And Bam Bam now, what's he looking for? He's got Raven. He's got Raven. As he just power bombed him. And oh, went for an elbow, but look at Raven able to move. And, oh man, headbutton Bam Bam. Not smart. And oh, he beat him with a headbutt. <laughs> a man who utilizes a headbutt as a finishing move was beaten by a headbutt. Oh, Raven, to be fair, had already pile-drived him on that dome. 
Then DDT'd him as well. But he won with a headbutt. Oh, weak finish. Well, Raven gets the victory that he was hoping to get this past Sunday. He got it now. And Raven. Raven is standing tall. As well, here come the Dudleys. Pyro! Well, these two are still the tag team champions. The Dudley boys making their way out here as... Wait a minute, wait a minute, look on the stage. Look on the stage. That's, that's Jerry Lynn. That's Jerry Lynn and... And go! Oh God, Bubba just hit the deck hard. Jerry Lynn and two cold Scorpio... And God, man, Jerry Lynn and Too Cold Scorpio, who were attacked by the Dudleys after winning tag team matches against these two. And it looks like Jerry Lynn has God, man. As, oh, good God, not that again. As, oh, not time to be celebrating. Now we got a bloody ladder back in the ring again. Who put that back under the ring? As Jerry Lynn, Scorpio was fighting Devon on the stage. Or on the rampway. As Jerry Lynn is going after Bubba right now. Well, this is what Bubba gets, man. The Dudleys attack. Jerry Lynn and Scorpio is Devon. Just get power bombed in the ramp. Look in the ring, though. It's God. Bubba just got dropped. And look at Jerry now. As Scorpio is taking it to Devon. And Jerry Lynn is all over Bubba. They are getting their payback. God, man, as Scorpio, God, just laid him out again. As Jerry Lynn here, and oh, man, what a move. As, oh, good God, man, Jerry Lynn. And Jerry Lynn. Go with the DDT. And would you look at Scorpio over there? Devon is being beaten. And oh my god, this is payback right here. As Jerry Lynn is stalking out and Scorpio now. And God, there's the pile driver. And God, man. A boot by Scorpio there. And oh, God, is it a title belt? And Devon hit with a title belt there. And well, Devon is on his lonesome right now. Bubba is down. Bubba is busted open. As Devon not looking good right now. As these two are ganging up on him here. And Devon is being double teamed. God. 
And oh, where's Jerry going? Jerry Lynn. Yes. And Jerry Lynn got the drop kick there. And Scorpio. God. And oh, here we go. Scorpio is top row. And go to cold Scorpio. What a move. There was Bubba getting taken completely out. As he laid him down. And look at this beautiful move. Jerry Lynn and Scorpio were taken out. Balls Mahoney and New Jack stepped in to take their place. But it looks like Jerry Lynn and Scorpio are back and coming for the Dudleys. Oh, well, let's continue with this action tonight. Well, just incredible. Quite an angry little man. The Impact players, man. Lance Storm not even out here. He, uh, Lance Storm feels so embarrassed that the rookie, Steve Carino, seems to keep getting the better of him. Steve Carino pinned Lance Storm yet again. This past Sunday at Anarchy Rules. Now Steve Carino going to go one-on-one -on -one with just incredible. His tag team partner Tommy Dreamer took on Taz earlier tonight. Taz just threw him off a ladder God knows how many times. And look at Carino. No time wasted on his side. As Justin there able to catch him out. As just incredible. As Steve Carino here. Back and forth early on. And Carino going to the outside. Well, it's ECW. He ain't wasting no time here. He's out the ring. Wait a minute. Oh, well, oh, well there's Lad Storm there. And Lance Storm is, and oh, and Lance Storm just jumps in the ring and catches Carino. And Lance Storm here, the referee trying to, he's not disqualifying him technically. He's trying to get rid of him here. It's up to the referee whether he calls a disqualification or not. Look at just incredible. Look at the smile on his face. Is Lance Storm attacking Steve Carino, man? He's been so embarrassed recently. As in just incredible now. Is on the top rope. As and God, out goes Carino. Now, just incredible. He's uh, he's just showing off now. That crab was locked in by Lance Storm. It's just incredible. Is just being very cocky right now with the moves that he's going for. As Carino though able to get a kick in there, and Carino now with the knees. Carino is fighting back. Is. Incredible sent off the ropes there, but just incredible able to get the right hand as Carino is sent over the top rope. And oh, wait a minute. Let's get that hammer now. As, and go right into the back there. Go! 
shot off the knee. As look at Carino try to fight the hammer away from him. As and go, oh, he sends him in at the ring post. Steve Carino and oh, he's going for the hammer. See how he likes it. As an exactly the same man, right off the lower back, off of the knee. We're at a count of seven right now. As Carino go with a DDT. Count of eight. And oh, right on the nine there. Thought we are going to get a count out. Look at just incredible now. The match is evened out, man, with that hammer being used. Landstorm's interference definitely played a part. Look at Carino, though, still giving it everything he's got there. Lovely Northern Lights holding the bridge, but able to get the shoulder up. As Carino now. Big elbow. As Carino. His elbow strikes. And go oh, a shot in there and put it right in the face. What's he doing here? Try to hold his arm down right now. And oh god. And oh man, right the fingers. As now picks him up. And Goy just super kicks him right back down. As into the cover. And just incredible gets the victory. But let's be fair. Lance Storm played a big part because Carino was looking pretty good until Lance Storm got involved. Well, just incredible gets the victory. But Lance Storm gets the assist. Lance Storm has so much jealousy at the fact that he's been getting beat off Steve Carino. Lost to him one on one. He was pinned in the tag team match at Anarchy Rules. And well, here comes Paul E. Heyman. Best we can get, people. <laughs> oh, I hope you will indulge me for a little bit. Sorry to put a break into the wrestling action tonight. But, Stephanie, you made a proposal. And you know what? I'm out here to accept that proposal. 1% on the line at the next pay-per-view. You have got it. Now, have you noticed that things around here have been a bit crazy lately? Well, you better believe it. But do you know what? I'm going to start with one thing straight away, Stephanie. You wanted to say Cactus has to pull double duty. That's fine. He's holding two belts. I've already spoke to him. He's fine with that. But I say we make it a little bit more fair. See, it's all about the fans here. We need to show support to the fans. And I think Taz and Rhino haven't exactly earned the chance to fight for those two titles. So I think it's only fair that the two men that beat those men are in that match as well. Two three-way dances, Sabu and Sandman, can go into those matches as well. And let's not stop there. Jerry Lynn and Scorpio are back and they never got their tag team title match. So you know what? They're going to get that as well. And let's not stop there. 
Shane Douglas wants to attack Tajiri. Tajiri versus Shane Douglas. Lance Storm wants to attack Steve Carino. Lance Storm versus Steve Carino. How about Raven and Mikey Whipwreck versus Bam Bam Bigelow and Mike Awesome? I'm going to enjoy every part of this. And you know what? That's only six matches. How about number seven, Steph? Number seven, how about your right to censor? How about them against Balls Mahoney, New Jack and Tommy Dreamer in All Out War? And Paul Heyman has just laid out the entire pay-per-view. He's just laid out the entire pay-per-view. So we're going to... He's just said the right to censor versus Dreamer, Balls Mahoney and New Jack in All Out War. Shane Douglas versus Tajiri. Bam Bam and Mike Awesome versus Raven and Mikey Whipwreck. Lance Storm versus Steve Carino. The Dudley Boys defending the tag titles against Jerry Lynn and Too Cold Scorpio. Cactus Jack will have to defend the TV and heavyweight title in two separate three-way dances against Rhino and Sandman, then Taz and Sabu. Good God, our entire pay-per-view has just been laid out an entire month in advance. Well, main event time. Here comes the television and heavyweight champion, Cactus Jack, double champion. Which I believe is an ECW first. I can't think of a time somebody held both belts. A part of me thinks they did, but I'm not sure. I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Well, this is a challenge put out by Stephen Richards. I do not know why. We've already seen Cactus tonight and different attire. And ladies and gentlemen, we just had a moment backstage. Steven, you're on your own. The entire Paul Heyman side of ECW just stopped the good Meanie and good Nova from coming out to the ring, plus the rest of Stephanie's ECW as well. They have blocked the pathway. Stephen Richards is on his own out here. And uh, Stephen Richards has changed the look on his face. He doesn't look quite as comfortable. He obviously had a plan in place, and that plan is no longer there. Is Cactus, and here comes Cactus. Wasting no time. And oh. As, oh, and he managed to get out the way there is Stephen Richards. Take nothing away from him. Stevie Richards. The former champion himself. The cactus though. This isn't Stephen Richards. Or this isn't Stevie Richards. This is Stephen Richards. And this man is a coward. This is not the person we knew. As here comes Cactus. Over the top they go. Well, we now know that the right to censor are going to be in some all-out war. Although Stephanie has it. We don't know if she's agreed. And, oh, God, man. And Stephen Richards, man. This is our main event, people. Stephen Richards has a crack to the arm there. As Stephen Richards now. As Cactus dropped on the guardrail. Well, it's extreme rules, people. No, he's got the cane. Oh, Cactus able to get out the way of that one there. Didn't get out of the way of the second shot, though. As Cactus takes it from him right in the gut. And, oh, God, off the back there. And it looks like White Sox is feeling it tonight. Cactus is all over him right now. Back into the guardrail. Whoa, Cactus over the back there. As, whoa, get caught there. As a DDT'd right into the floor. 
I say, don't take it away from Richards, man. He is no coward. No, oh, sorry, he is a coward. I just contradicted myself there. <laughs> he is not a bad wrestler by any means. As in, oh, and he get caught with a knee there. As what's Cactus looking for? And well, he's under the ring. We got Wood. And oh god, we got another stick. As a god. And Cactus is going to town on him. I swear I do this at randoms. So I forget where things are. I, mean, I tried to turn it back on. I don't know how I buggered it up, to be honest. And Steven now. And, oh, go with the elbow there. He's back out of the ring we go. Got a table in the ring as well. As and God lead out there. As and Cactus catches him. Oh, he went for the double arm DDT. Steven was able to get out of it. It's Steven Richards now. And he's got Cactus. As scoops him up. Stevie Bomb, the big Stevie Bomb. As he rolls Cactus over here. My God, you imagine he gets this pin? He ain't. And Stephen Richards thought he had it. And what's he doing now? Oh, he's looking for the ropes. Keep looking. And, go! Oh, what a shot that was. There's Cactus now. Oh, good God. Going after the steps now. Oh, there goes the table. As in Stevie, you're in a bad place here. As Steven dropped on that rail. Well, he done it to Cactus. Come around, fair play. There's Cactus now. Well, Paul Heyman's ECW guys are blocking the way. A brawl hasn't ensued, but, well, sure as hell. It's Cactus, he's calling for God only knows what. I've seen some of the things he's done. That match with Shane Douglas, it was not looking good for Douglas, that entire thing. God, he just headbutted him there. As well as it going with them. Is Steven. God, off the steps. As well, he's still trying to go here. As he's back on to him. And a DDT there. That ain't enough. As, what are you doing, Steven? Trying to pose. And another DDT. He's got up that middle rope again here. And again, nobody home. Cactus sends him into the corner here. And oh, it's time for never mind Cactus. It's vintage Foley. And God. He is busted after that one. And oh God, we lost the table there. Oh, the table's still roughly alive. It's the legs that gave. And Stephen Richards trying to do whatever he can right now. 
There's all Cactus over the back. And, oh, God, what a headbutt there. There's Cactus now. He's unloading on him. And Cactus, God, uses his rear end. And back into the corner again here is Cactus. And oh, Cactus. Oh, he's got him down. And Cactus again with a knee. And Cactus Jack. And Cactus. Stephen Richards, as we said, he is on his own. He's got no help tonight. Paul Heyman's ECW is making sure of it. And oh my God. Cactus has got him on the table. Where is he going? Top rope, Cactus! God, the steel steps were under there. I think he might have just missed them. Good God. Elbow drop through the table. Cactus doesn't appear to be finished. Is Cactus getting him up here? Oh God, he's on a big plank in that wood. God, man, there's the pale driver. And Cactus Jack hooks the leg of Stephen Richards. It's over. I think Stephen Richards had a plan in place. I think he was hoping he was going to have some help in this one. He nearly got him here, man, the Stevie bomb. But the tables turned very quickly. This actually bust him open. He tried something here. It didn't quite work. He took another knee in the face before he got elbow dropped through a table and then pile drived right on a big plank of wood. And he doesn't appear to be finished here. As in, wait a minute, there's Rhino, there's Rhino, and Rhino! As he was going to, he was going to double arm DDT, Stephen Richards, and Stephen Richards bailing out of the ring instantly. Is Rhino now? who was attacked earlier tonight by Cactus Jack. But Rhino is having his way. What the hell's going on with the camera? And Rhino on to Cactus here. And Cactus, and God, man, he's lodged on it up with himself. It's Cactus, and oh, Rhino. Rhino is stalking him here. And Rhino, and, and a go to Cactus. Rhino, who will challenge for the television title, along with the Sandman. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our entire pay-per-view has been laid out. It's going to be the best of seven, and it's all for 1% of the company, so someone can have complete control. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share and subscribe, leave those comments down below, and I'll see you in the next episode.